The Discovery credit card was my first credit card, and it's consistently recommended as one of the best, if not the best, beginner credit cards. And this is still mostly true to this day. Since I'm assuming that you may be a beginner to credit cards, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. Credit cards like the Discovery credit card gives you cash back on the purchases that you make. And it also helps you to build your credit score in the process. Assuming that you pay your card off on time every time, which is what you should be doing when you get a credit card. If you do this, you'll never have to pay interest or a late fee. Boosting your credit score helps you get better deals on loans. It also helps you get a mortgage. It can help you get an apartment. It can also help you get other credit cards as well. Some people who are younger may actually not care about any of this stuff at all. But it's going to take you about a year to go from nothing to having an actual decent credit score. So you may find yourself in a position later on in life to where you actually want to get something but your credit is just not good. Which is why I think it's a good idea to actually get a credit card and just buy gas with it. Just buy gas with it, pay the card off on time every time, and you'll boost your credit score in the process. And your future self will probably end up thanking you. Also, some jobs do run credit checks, and some of those jobs, depending on the state they're in, can actually deny you the job if you have bad credit. A credit card is one of the easiest ways to start building up your credit score. The Discovery credit card was my first credit card, and I didn't even have a credit score when I got it. Which is why this car is so oftentimes recommended because it's not that hard to get accepted. At first, I just used this card to buy gas, and I would pay the card off on time every time early. And as time went on, I got more used to it, and I got more comfortable with it. I just started buying everything with it because why not get the cash back? Now, it's very rare for me to ever use a debit card. Really, the only time I ever use a debit card is when I'm using Cash App's card and they have a certain boost available. This review will be broken down into sections. I'll have timestamps down below. The Discovery credit card gives you 1% cash back on every purchase that you make with 5% cash back on rotating categories. The rotating categories are actually pretty solid. The first quarter of 2023, we had grocery stores excluding Target and Walmart, drug stores, and select streaming services. Second quarter is restaurants and wholesale clubs. The next two quarters haven't been announced yet. Discover usually has 5% cash back on PayPal, Amazon, and even gas stations at some point during the year. This cash back is good for up to $1,500 in purchases per quarter. For up to $75 of cash back per quarter. Which, please try not to just max these out every single quarter. You want to just buy things you're going to buy anyway. Do not excessively spend with credit cards. Also, for the first year, you actually get double cash back on those purchases. So it ends up being 2% cash back on everything and 10% cash back on the rotating categories for the first year. So if you accumulate $100 of cash back during the year, after those 12 months are over, they'll give you another $100. The cash back can be used to pay off credit cards, donate to charity, or you can just send that money to a bank account. Discover also has automatic statement credits. At this moment, if you sign up using someone else's link, Discover will give you $100 after making your first purchase with the card within three months. I'll have my link down below. Feel free to use it or someone else's in order to get that $100 bonus. The Discovery credit card has no monthly fees and no annual fees, which makes it an excellent beginner credit card. Credit history and having a longer credit history boosts your credit score. It's best for your credit card to have no annual fees or no monthly fees at all, so that way you're not stuck with some card that actually kind of sucks that you just keep paying off every single year because you don't want it to impact your credit score. Of course, there will be a late fee if you do not pay the card off on time. So I would strongly suggest setting up auto pay and what I do is I set it for the full statement balance. This way you never have to worry about late fees or paying high interest as long as you have enough money in your checking account. If I were a beginner, I would only use it to buy gas at first, pay the card off early, and get more used to it and get more comfortable with the credit card. Because this credit card, like every other credit card, has high interest. Credit cards are useful for helping you build your credit score and giving you some cash back in the process. But if used incorrectly, you will have to pay a lot of interest. Don't be one of these people. Only buy things you're going to buy anyway and pay the card off on time every time. One of the best benefits about the Discovery credit card, aside from getting cash back, is that their app is actually good. They have a solid app and it's easy to find what you're looking for. Many other credit card companies have apps that low-key kind of suck or they're just all right. You can also view your FICO credit score through the app. It's probably going to take about six months for you to build it up if you have no credit score at the moment. From the app, you can request to raise your credit limit, freeze your card, see your recurring charges, change your PIN, contact customer service, and more, all through the app. On the topic of customer service, Discover has 24-7 customer service. Now let's mention some cons. While the app is solid, there are times in which there's a bit of lag when it comes to logging me in. It takes longer than it should. Which, for me at least, this isn't too big of a deal and it's not a deal breaker. The biggest con for me personally would be the 5% rotating categories. You have to actually go into the app and activate the rotating categories every quarter. You can usually activate the current quarter that you're in and also the next quarter. While this isn't very time consuming, it only takes a minute to do, I'm a set it and forget it kind of person when it comes to finances. I don't want to have to remember to activate the rotating 
categories every quarter or whatever it may be. Which as time goes on and your credit score goes up, you can actually apply and get a 2% cash back on everything credit card. And you can also start churning credit cards for their welcome bonuses. Otherwise, there's not many cons with the Discover It credit card. There's a reason why it's so often recommended, especially for beginners. In conclusion, this is still an excellent credit card for beginners. I'm not a fan of having to activate the categories in order to get the 5% cash back, but it's not that big of a deal. Double cash back for the first year is really nice. And $100 statement credit if you make a purchase within the first three months when you sign up using someone else's link is nice as well. I'd also like to note that there are some rules when it comes to credit cards. Credit cards can cripple you with high interest debt. At first, it's going to seem weird when you use a credit card because you'll buy something and it won't show up in your bank account. It doesn't show up into your bank account until you pay off the credit card. So if you're new to credit cards, this could actually mess with your mind a little bit, making you think you have more money than you actually do. Which is why I suggest only buying something like gas and nothing else with the credit card and just pay that off on time every time and pay it off early, especially if you're a beginner. Get used to this, make it a habit, have auto pay set up. Do not overspend. Which if you're not entirely responsible with money or you're not entirely confident in actually being able to pay it off on time every time, consider getting a different kind of credit card. You can get a credit card builder credit card, which is basically a debit credit card. If you're smart with credit cards, they can be an excellent tool to get cash back on purchases that you make and also boost your credit score in the process and potentially give you additional insurances on the things that you're purchasing. Otherwise, here are the rules. Remember to set up auto pay, preferably for the full statement balance, just in case. Ideally, you'd pay the credit card off early. And here are the main rules. Pay your card off on time every time. Only buy things you're going to buy anyway. Do not buy things that you cannot afford. 